Okay. So transportation, as we all think of, is an indispensable and essential part of our lives. However, from a global perspective, it's also one of the largest sources of green gas emissions, which as well increases fast. As the voice of climate repairing becomes widely spread, people start to examine the transportation industry, seeking opportunities to reduce the emission of hydrocarbons. And from what I've looked up as research, I'm happy to say that the effort people have put into is remarkable. Right now, I will start my presentation by introducing a few practical approaches we have taken to reduce our reliance on hydrocarbons in transportation. So the first approach is an alternative fuel vehicle. And there are mainly two types, hybrid powered, which is to use electricity and gasoline at the same time, and pure electricity. The Chinese government has been given subsidies from years ago to those that are planned to purchase this kind of automobiles because they have lower fuel consumption and can turn off the internal combustion engine when at downtown, for example, which means less or sometimes zero pollution. And they have, low, and they have longer battery life and the internal combustion engine can very conveniently solve the need for air conditioning, heating, and defrosting, which makes it cost-friendly. However, there are, well, there are still some downsides of this type of automobiles, such as the fuel-saving effect of high-speed, long-distance driving is not that obvious, and the total amount of energy that a pure electric car can consume in its battery is still too low to support long-distance traveling due to immature development of this technology. Besides, the market for electric vehicles is still under development, so it takes time and money to form a considerable scale before it, widely, before it is widely adopted. Also, according to image three, generation of electricity itself, as well as will cost a lot of hydrocarbon emission. Cars powered by electricity is a significant move without doubt, but may not be the most effective one. Um, Wait, why the PowerPoint is not moving? Okay, so for me, the innovation that left me with the most profound impression was the use of gasoline, gasohol. So the word gasohol is composed by two words, gasoline and alcohol. The type of fuel is made by mixing gasoline with alcohol according to a specific proportion. The E10 in the right picture means that alcohol density in this fuel is up to 10%. This type of energy is considered to be one of the most promising clean alternative fuel for cars primarily because the physical, chemical, and thermal properties between alcohol, ethanol, and gasoline are quite close. And the ethanol can be extracted from plants like sugarcane, corn, starch plant, etc. The advantages from a standard gasoline engine are that the emission of carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and carbon uh, hydrocarbons of a pure um, ethanol engine are respectively, uh, respectively 60%, 50%, and way less than that of a gasoline engine if under the same work power output, work down, and excess air coefficient. Ethanol engines have as well been an industry with potential in the economy. For example, Brazil, a country that used to rely heavily on the import of fossil fuels, is now one of the countries that have the most developed technologies and the market for ethanol engines. However, Germany cannot accept this kind of mixed biofuels because they are more corrosive to automobile engines, especially 10, 15 years old than those traditional fuels. So this makes uh, more than 3 million German cars unable to use this biofuel. Um, so I think the most beneficial way of reducing car hydrocarbon emissions is overall, is overall considered to be taking public transportation, which, are, which will um, though largely affect people's um, daily behavior. And uh, this can easily be seen that they take up the minimum amount of space and fuel to transport a most, most significant number of people. Studies have shown that buses emit only 10% many, um, as many hydrocarbons per passenger mile as a single occupant auto. Also, public transportation nowadays is basically all powered by electricity, so they are more environmental friendly compared to traditional fuel. Though right now, the generation of electricity still relies heavily on hydrocarbon, but still releases a lot of hydrocarbons. Um, that, that brings a brief presentation to an end. And I like to say that it all comes to be an energy issue. There is currently no way to eliminate emissions of hydrocarbons due to the harm in finance. The immaturely developed market for new energy source vehicles 
equipment that hasn't been updated to fit in those late discovery solutions. And of course, ways to generate energy. It all become it all because it sorry, it all because of the health of the climate is not the primary concern of people's world of people worldwide. The day that this issue is put is put ahead of everything else might then be the day that we can fully get rid of our reliance on hydrocarbons. And that's all of my presentation. Thank you.